Right, we're going to do a little abbreviated version of what we did in class, talking about angles here. Uh, people tend to think angles and degrees synonymously, meaning when they think of one, they think of the other as if they were the same thing, but not the same thing. We can measure angles in different ways. Um, but to start with, let's talk about degrees. Um, <clears throat> so you see attached in the, the text that I sent out, if you can't see it, visit the website. You can get the link from there. Uh, but you can download um, this guy here. It's called the unit circle. And uh, the first thing we're going to do is mark off all the degrees, right? So this is 180 degrees. This is uh, zero degrees, or if I go all the way around, it's 360 degrees, uh, 90 degrees, and so on. And we fill in all of them. Uh, we're familiar with those, I would say. Uh, the thing you may not have known, if I didn't tell you, is that uh, this is halfway between zero and 90, so that's 45, and that this is a third of the way to 90, so that'd be 30. Another third of the way is 60, all the way to 90, that's 90. So we fill in the entire unit circle with the degree uh, markers. Okay, so let's talk about angles in degrees, and then we'll talk about uh, angles in another kind of measure that you may have heard of before. Uh, so let's talk about maybe a, you know something that's like 159 degrees. Okay, how would I draw 159 degrees? Uh, I'd start maybe with this side, with something, some side. Okay, the side that we start off with, it's the initial side, initial side. Initial, there we go. Okay, 159 degrees. That's uh, more than 90, less than 180s. So it's somewhere out here, I would say, right? Um, so we'll call this side what it is. It's called the terminal side. But the thing is, is this 159, or is it this angle out here? Uh, the way that we can indicate it is to draw uh, an arc right here to say, this is the angle we're talking about, right in here. And then to be sure, we write 159 degrees. And that's passable as 159 degrees. It's somewhere between 90 and 180. It's it's not too far from 180. It's only like uh, 21 degrees away, so we believe it, right? Um, how about uh, 240? Uh, I keep picking ones that are already there. Uh, like um, 290 degrees. Let's say 290 degrees. Okay, that goes from here, the initial side. We measure. From here to not there, but farther, because that's only 270. Go a little bit farther, okay? And you see how this might look like we're drawing this angle, but we draw our arc to show that we're drawing that bigger angle. Uh, so starting here at the initial side, stopping here at the terminal side, the, this is a 290-degree uh, angle. That's what that should look like. Okay, how about something like 500 degrees? How can I show 500 degrees? Well, if I were to go 360 degrees, that's once around. If I go to 500 degrees, that's, uh, let's see, 460, so 140 degrees more than a full circle. So we would show we've got a whole full circle here, okay, plus some more, uh, not 90 degrees more, because that would only be uh, 450 degrees. Uh, but we go, let's see, going to 500 degrees, so we're going to go 50 degrees more than that. Uh, so that would put us somewhere like right here. And we would continue to draw this arc all the way around, so 360 and more until we get to 500 degrees. All right, so that's how we would draw angles that are greater than 360 degrees, greater than a full circle. Um, and what about something like negative 38 degrees? Well, what would be negative about an angle? Well, a standard angle is, is what we've been showing so far. We, a standard angle will always start here at the positive x-axis and measure counterclockwise from there. But a negative degree, negative angle, measures down, measures clockwise. 
So if we start here and go down to about there, I believe that was at about a 38 degree angle, and it's in the negative direction, so it's a negative 38 degrees. All right. Um, so now let's talk about a measure of angle that is not in degrees. Um, and we have different units for things all the time, like uh, distance. We measure distance in feet, miles, millimeters, uh, inches. There's just a, a ton of different ways that we measure length in different units. So the different unit for angles that we typically use in, uh, in most of science is called the radian. And there's going to be a little anim animation here uh, when I flip the page of what a radian is. So I'm just going to have you just take a peek at it. Just watch it. All right, so uh, hopefully if that didn't make sense, you, you went back and watched it again and again. But let's, uh, let's break it down. So we draw a circle that has a given radius. Okay, so we define the radius. This circle could be any size. This circle could be the size of the Earth. This circle could be the size of a, a hydrogen uh, atom. It's, it could be any size at all. We just have a radius, some radius. If I take that radius and I um, make that radius uh, kind of stand up here and then bend it onto the the arc or the circle. Now we have uh, a case where the radius and this arc are the same length. Okay, so if this is one, this is one. If this is twelve, this is twelve. We put the the radius onto the arc of the circle, and that angle between there and there, where this distance is the same as the radius, we call that one radian. And then we start to stack radians on top of each other. We take one radian, we put another radian on there, we put another radian on, we get three radians. Okay, how many radians gets us exactly halfway around the circle? It turns out pi radians. Okay, there's that number pi showing up. And there we go, we have pi radians is halfway around the circle. And if we go another pi radian, so another 3.14 radians, we're at two pi radians. Okay, so that's what radians are. Uh, one radian is where the radius and the arc length are the same. When the radius and the arc length are the same, we have one radian. Okay, and it turns out to get all the way around the circle, it would take two radian, two pi radians. Okay, because halfway around the circle takes one, two, three, and how much, how, how many radians do you think it is from here to there? Probably 0.14 or so. 3.14 radians, pi radians to get halfway around the circle. So um, let's fill in that unit circle. Let's fill in that unit circle with some radians. Okay, I'll do the radians in uh, red. All right. So this is zero radians. Notice I don't write radians out here. Uh, we don't typically write radians. We do have a symbol for degrees, but we don't. We don't have a symbol for radians. We don't write the word radians like we would miles or gallons. And uh, some units are like that. So if you don't see degrees, just assume it's radians. Right. So let's start with this. We know that halfway around is pi radians, and all the way around would be two pi radians. We saw that from the video. Okay, put a little comma there to separate them. Now, if from here to there it's pi, all right, then how many radians do you think it is from here to there? Well, it's that's just half, right? From from there to there uh, is half of this total angle here. So it's half of what? Half of pi. So this is pi divided by 2. And how about here? Well, that is a uh, half of that. OK. Um, well, what if I went pi over 4, and I went another pi over 4? That would be 
2 pi over 4, which is simplified to pi over 2. What if I went another pi over 4? Well, that would be 3 pi over 4, or 3 fourths of pi, right? If I said, oh, this is a fourth of the way to pi, this is a fourth of the way to the pi, this is another fourth of the way to the pi, that's 3 fourths of pi, 3 fourths times pi. Well, 3 fourths times pi over 1 is 3 pi over 4. And that's all that is about. Let's talk about 30 degrees. Well, 30 degrees, it takes 30, then another 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 30. It takes 6 times 30 to get to 180. So it must take, this must be a sixth of half the way. So sixth of pi. So pi divided by 6. All right. This is 2 sixths, so that's 2 pi over 6 or pi over 3. Okay, pi over 6, 2 pi over 6, 3 pi over 6 simplifies to pi over 2, uh, 4 pi over 6 simplifies to 2 pi over 3. So that means that we could also get there by going pi over 3, like 1 third of the way, 2 thirds of the way, 2 thirds of pi. Okay, keep going pi over 6, 2 pi over 6, 3, 4, 5 pi over 6. Right? This angle right here, from here to here, is 5 sixths of pi. We'll keep going, that's uh, 5 sixths of pi. This is 6 sixths of pi, which is just 1 pi. Uh, 7 sixths of pi, 7 pi over 6. Okay. Uh, 8 pi over 6 simplifies to 4 pi over 3, which means we could get there by going pi over 3, 2 pi over 3, 3 pi over 3. Uh, let's see, sorry, pi over 3, 2 pi over 3, 3 pi over 3, 4 pi over 3, 5 pi over 3. Okay. And if we want another pi over 3, we had 6 pi over 3, and we need to simplify that to 2 pi. Let's see here. This is 7 pi over 6, <coughs> 8 pi over 6, 9 pi over 6. 9 pi over 6 simplifies to 3 pi over 2. Uh, 9 pi over 6. 10 pi over 6 simplifies to 5 pi over 3. 11 pi over 6. And if we went all the way around, we would go to 12 pi over 6, which would simplify to 2 pi. Right, so we've got pi over 4, 3 pi over 4, uh, 4 pi over 4, 5 pi over 4, 6 pi over 4, 7 pi over 4, and 8 pi over 4 simplifies to 2 pi. So now we have these unit circles uh, marked off with our degrees and with the radians. All right. Um, let's take a look back at this one radian. Here's one radian. How many degrees is one radian? Okay. Well, we know that uh, if we go from here to there, in radians, that's pi radians. And in degrees, that's 180 degrees. So if I cut 180 degrees into 1, 2, 3.14 pieces, that's how many degrees that it would be. I'd take 180 divide it into uh, 3.14 groups, right? And in each one group, we would find the same number of degrees, okay? So one radian, one radian equals 180 over pi, 180 over pi. We take 180 and we divide it into pi pieces. Each piece will be a certain number of degrees, right? And it'll be the number of degrees in one radian. So if we took 180 and divided it into pi pieces, we'd get about 57.296, uh, let's say, 57.296. And that's believable, right? Because one radian, that looks like it's in the neighborhood of 60 degrees. If we looked at the unit circle, it looks like it's almost the same as 60 degrees. It's just a bit less, right? Uh, a little less than 3 degrees, less than 60 degrees. Okay, a little over 2 degrees less. Okay. Um, well, if one radian is that many degrees, or to be more exact, this many degrees, then how many is in two radians? Well, it's just 2 times 180 degrees over pi. If one radian is this many, then two radians is twice as many. And three radians is three times as many. 
And what about 7.6 radians? Oh, it's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 0. 0.6 plus 0. 0.6 of this. So that's just the same as 7.6 times 180 over pi. That's how many degrees it is. Right? This would be equal to however many degrees, however many degrees, however many degrees. So then it's equal to 7.6 radians, 3 radians, 2 radians. So in general, if we had some radians, we would multiply it by 180 over pi, and that would give us the degrees. Okay. Now what if I went in reverse? What if I had 158 degrees, and I want to do, turn it into radians? So I could just plug it in on this side of the equation. Right? Radians times 180 over pi equals the number of degrees, so I'll just plug in 158 degrees. How do I solve for this? This is really x, right? x. It's the unknown. So how do I solve for x? Well, it's uh, 180 over pi times x, so I'll just multiply by the reciprocal. And let's cancel each other out. And the number of radians is equal to 158 times pi over 180. And that'll work no matter how many degrees we're talking about. So we have this, this other equation where radians is equal to the number of degrees times pi over 180. Okay. So we can take 158 times pi over 180. We'll just throw that in our calculator. 158 times pi over 180. Uh, that's about 2.76 radians. Remember what two radians looks like. Remember what three radians looks like. There's two radians. There's. Can I just leave the? Uh, there's two radians. There's three radians. So two point two point seven six will be closer to three than two. It'll be somewhere in here. And we start with 158 degrees. Let's look at that unit circle. 150 degrees there. 158 degrees right around there. So. Uh, it's believable that 158 degrees is the same as 2.78 radians. And again, we don't usually write radians. It's just understood. Okay, so we got our conversion from radians to degrees and uh, vice versa. All right, and one last thing. Uh, so let's draw a circle. And here's the radius. Here's the radius. And one radian is where the radius and this arc length are the same. So there's one radian. Okay. So if this is one radian, by definition, this arc length here. All right. Sorry for the all the interruptions. So this length here, by definition, is the same as the radius. Okay. This one we call S for some reason. It's uh, the the measure of the arc. Right, the section of the circumference that we're talking about here is called S. All right. So let's say we go to two radians. Two radians. If we go to two radians, then how long is it from here to there? How long is that? Well, it's the angle's twice as big, right? This we take this arc length and we put another one on it. So that arc length must be the same as two times r. So at two radians, this arc length is two times r. How about for three radians? Maybe we're getting kind of tired of this because well, I hope we're getting tired of it. I hope that it's obvious. But if not, let's see. We've got one, two, three radians. We've got one arc length, two arc lengths, three arc lengths, right, of this size. So three r, whatever r is, this orange guy here is three times bigger. Okay. And what about if we go halfway around the circle? Can we go to halfway around the circle, remember, is pi radians. So how long is this arc length? Well, up to here it's 3 and a little bit more. How much more? 0.14 more. This arc length is pi times r, 3.14 times r. And what about if we go all the way around? Go all the way around. 
Well, that's 1, 2, 3 pi, 2 pi radians, right? And each one of these arc lengths here is r, 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 3.14 times r, all the way around would be 2 pi times r. And this measure all the way around is called the circumference. Circumference is 2 pi times r. You may have heard of that before. But now it's uh, you kind of see why. Um, and any arc length that you want to measure, you can just take r times theta. We did it here, right? Here's theta is the measure of the angle. Theta is an, a variable we use to represent angles. This theta is 1 radian. 1 radian times r is the length 1 times r. If this arc length was, or sorry, if this radius was 2, this arc length would be 2. Because the radius and the arc length here are equal by definition of 1 radian. If we go to 2 radians, then it's going to be 2 times r. If we go to 3 radians, it's going to be 3 times r. If we go to pi, it's going to be pi times r, pi radians times the radius r, and all the way around 2 pi times r. And any angle around here, we can just take that angle, angle in radians, the angle in radians, uh, and multiply it by r. Okay, so if you're asked to find the arc length s, it's equal to the angle in radians times r. So for uh, a circle with radius three, if you're at an angle of uh, pi over six and the arc length is equal to 3 times pi over 6, which is, let's say this is 3 inches here, pi over 6 radians. 3 times pi over 6 radians, uh, these cancel out, uh, so we uh, wind up with pi over 2 inches is how long that arc length would be. All right, that's uh, everything we got through, so uh, please re-watch if you need to. Ask me questions if you have them. Uh, I expect everyone to have watched this if they weren't there uh, in preparation for the next class.